Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place, and I invite you right now to close your eyes and take a deep breath and just relax and open your heart to God. Relax into your chair, relax into your body, relax into this moment. Take another deep cleansing breath and just let go. And just allow yourself to feel God's love. Allow yourself to feel God's peace. That peace that surpasses all human understanding. That peace that reassures us that we are never alone. That in this moment, in every now moment, the fullness, the goodness, the allness, and the abundance of God is within us and all around us. Again, take another deep breath and just open yourself to the goodness and fullness of God. For it truly is the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Which means that God is not withholding anything from you. In fact, God delights and desires to fill you and fill your life with as much good, with as much love, as much joy and peace and wisdom and compassion as you are willing to receive. Again, another deep breath. And just let go. Let go of anything that might be getting in your way of giving God your undivided attention. Open your heart and focus your mind on the living activity of God within you and all around you. To that wisdom and intelligence, to that unlimited, unlimited source of goodness in whose image and likeness you have been created. Just give yourself fully to spirit. Just surrender to allow God to lift you, to heal you, to comfort you. And to help you see yourself and your life through the eyes of God. Through the eyes of love and gratitude the eyes of unlimited possibilities. Feel that love so clearly and deeply that you absolutely know and feel the truth that you are God's beloved child. That you have been created in God's image and likeness and you are here to do great things and that, God, that love of God is always encircling you, always available to you, always seeking to express more of itself. For love is the greatest power in the universe. Love is the great healer. Love is the great unifier. Love transforms and uplifts. For the nature and essence of who you are is love. The question is, are you willing to open yourself to the fullness of that love? To open yourself to, to love yourself. To let that love be fully received, be fully experienced, and fully expressed. And to know 100% that you are absolutely worthy of love. To know the truth that God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. Three times quietly to yourself. I just want you to speak that mantra, that truth. God loves me. 
God loves me. God loves me. Take a deep breath and let yourself feel the love of God. Let it wash over you. Let it fill you and overflow in your heart and your mind and your spirit. For you are God's beloved child in whom God is well pleased. In the Psalms it is written, be still and know that I am God. So for the next few moments, just sit in the silence and allow the love of God to fill you and heal you, to comfort you, strengthen you, guide you in whatever way you need it in your life. Let God's love be immersed in your heart and your mind in the silence. Now let's turn our thoughts and prayers to our loved ones. If you have a family member or a friend, a neighbor or a coworker, or anyone you know in need of healing or comfort or guidance, I invite you to bring them into your heart right now. See them in your mind's eye, encircled in the healing, loving light of God. And into this light, we also bring in our the prayer requests that have come, to, come into our ministry this week. And to each of these beautiful, beloved souls, we hold a prayer knowing that the healing power and the miracle working power and the unconditional love of God is bringing about the right answers and order in their lives. That things are unfolding even as we pray to bring forth the highest and best for these individuals, for their circumstances, and for everyone involved. So we give thanks in advance for the answered prayer in their lives. We give thanks in advance for all the good we know that is still to come. And we pray and celebrate and give thanks for this all through the name and the power of the living Christ Spirit. Amen.